So this goes up, goes behind there, up, and it goes into the boiler there. This is nothing really to do with controls. And then we left with these, which were here. So this is in one. Then we can now figure the rest out. So we did have a uh, did have a live go into five here. Okay, get rid of the wires. So let's get rid of the earth. We'll put the earth where the earth goes. We've got this other one here, which is purely for the boiler. We know that the live is going to go where the live goes and the neutral is going to go where the neutral goes. So with heat in, we know colors don't matter. So this is not a neutral. Discard that. This neutral is going to go in there. The boiler is wired in. Okay, so the first thing we need to recognize is these are NC, normally closed, normally closed, normally open, normally open. And then we go hot water heating, hot water heating. The thing you're going to look at is number one, hot water off. So when it switches over, it goes to number three, hot water on. So this one is normally closed. Number one is hot water off, normally closed. So now we need to figure out where hot water off, normally closed, is on this. This so happens to be number one. So we can do that. It switches to on, which is number three. Okay, so we look at the hive wiring. If we have a good look at it, we see number one. Okay, and it's got a little switch there, which goes to number three. So it's exactly the same. So one and three are for hot water. Okay. So they switch exactly the same. Hot water. So on the old programmer, this blue wire was exactly there. So now that's in. Now we've got one left. This one that might confuse you is one was linked to five. Okay, so that's the main difference. However, four is still on. And if we look at the diagram, four is a switch. So it's on as well. So it switches over to four to go on. All right, so that brings us upstairs to the wiring center. Let's identify the system. So we have a wire plan because it's got a three port. The wires for this, because they're built in, are always the same. The colors here could be totally different. But so we go in here and we immediately find the white. So on a white plan, I always say white is for radiators because radiators are white. We've identified the white wire. Um, the white wire is connected here to the room stat. So we're going to disconnect this. So what we need to find here is which wire is the room stamp. So we're going to disconnect all the wires for the room stamp. And the two important bits are the white wire here. And then we're looking at where it switches. So it switches here. So all we're going to do is remove these two and link them. So we're actually going to link them over there. And that's all you have to do. So we have, we're finding the room stat, we're disconnecting it, and we're linking where, the, where it would switch. So we don't have to do anything with the neutrals. Those are getting cut, capped. So we've identified the white. So this one here is going to 
the room start. So we're gonna cut that just there. Now with that in, what I can then do is strip this and I can just link that, okay? So that's just gonna be a straight link to there. So this one is coming out. And we make sure that that is the room start. So yeah, that is the room start with that cut wire there. Now this, everything else stays in place. We just put in that link in, put this in there. There we go. So now that's linked up like that. Yep, so as you can see there, those are linked. And now all I need to do is get these out. I need to get this earth taken out. I need to get the, neut the neutral taken out. So to identify that this is the room stat, we'll link them together. We'll just link them together like that and we'll go downstairs and do a continuity test. And it's got that little symbol, audible. So we don't, we don't even need to look at this. We can just put that in the pocket. And there's these two wires here. So that's it, that's done. So now the stat has slowed down, it was double flashing, slowed down to a single flash. Now we can put the battery into the stat. Put that back in. Get that on the wall. It's gonna search. There we go, it's pairing now. So when it double flashes, it's looking for the Hive Hub. When it single flashes, it's ready to receive uh, the thermostat. So that's it, it's all connected now. Now we just need to test it. So the first thing we're gonna do, is put the heating on. So if we go down there, don't know if you can see that. It's not really showing it very well, is it? There we go. It is lit up. There we go. It's fired up. It's got the little symbol there saying it's fired up, and that is. A solid light. We'll test it again by turning it all the way down. And that should then shut off. There we go. So that's shut off there. Go here, we're going to hot water. We'll turn this on and see if that goes on. So as you can see there. Water has gone on. Wait for the boiler to fire. In that case, sure. And there we go, it's firing up. And then we're going to turn it off again. Turn that off. Hot water's off. That should then stop blinking and then switch off. There we go, and the flame's gone as well. 